The Cruel Boys army is really starting to take shape. The Gut Rippers are big, brutish and ready to take on anyone. The Hobgrots, although small in size, they make up for it in mass numbers and cunningness. Then we come to these guys, the Man Skewer Bolt Boys. Orcs aren't exactly known for their shooting skills. Long range or shooty armies have always been in high regard with me. When I played Space Marines many years ago, I liked having scouts with sniper rifle options. And when I played Tau, I loved the marker like shenanigans. But when it comes to Age of Sigmar, there are very few shooty units that really took my fancy. I like the free guild handgunners and I really want to add a unit of Warplock Giselles to my Skaven army but I haven't got around to converting a unit yet. When I was painting up the Manskewer Bolt Boys, I just happened to look up the rules for their weapon sets to see what the range of the crossbows were and one of the rules was if they remain stationary, they have an impressive range of 24 inches and just needing a 2 plus to hit which is really good for orcs. Who knew a good shooting unit was hidden in an orc army? So the army process continues to gain traction with the Hobgrats and the Gut Rippers making up most of the army. So that leaves only seven models in total left to paint. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add points to what I've painted so far. And so far I've painted 260 points and when I add the Bolt Boys in, the total will come to 380 points. In the last video I showed how I painted the green orc skin on the gut rippers, so this time I wanted to show how I painted the man skewer crossbows. Starting off with the body of the crossbow, the arrow shafts and the quiver, I started with bane blade brown. This had to be a lighter colour of brown from the robes, which in hindsight knowing that the crossbow was going to be a brown wooden colour, maybe I should have painted the robes a different colour. But I really think bane blade brown was the right colour for the wooden look. One of the Bolt Boys quiver had an auric face on it and since I didn't paint the auric face on one of the shoulder pads red, I thought I'd paint this part red. The fist on red was layered on for the base coat. The crossbow has a few metal parts scattered across it. Now I'm not a weapons expert so I had to look up what the names of the different parts of the crossbow was. So we have the bayonet, the limb and the trigger and all the other metal parts on the quiver were all painted lead belcher. Keeping with the colour red, corn red was used to paint on the arrow's flights. The string and the string tied around the body was layered up with screaming skull. Once it was dry, Reichland flesh shade was used to bring out the shade in the recesses. I went with Agrax earth shade for the flights, arrow shafts and the wooden body. Originally I was meant to go with Carrollburg crimson on the flights but accidentally used Agrax earth shade instead. But it worked out better than I thought it would. But I did get to use Carrollburg Crimson on the quiver. Agrax Earthshade was considered for it, but it would have been too dark for it I think. When it comes to shading silver metal colours, is there a better combination than lead belcher and null and oil? I don't think there is, and I think this combo just works perfectly. With the shading part finished and all dry, it was time to start highlighting. The Agrax Earthshade darkened the wooden body enough, where using the base colour of Baneblade Brown again worked as a perfect highlight. I painted just the tips of the arrows, thin lines across the shafts and the most prominent parts of the body. When it came to the string and the ropes, I went with a dry brush of Screaming Skull. For the flights, it was a choice of either Wild Rider Red or Wazdaka Red. Wazdaka Red was the much better fit for the highlight and brought out more of the colour on the flights. The metal parts were finished off with a highlight of Stormhold Silver on the edges and on the top of any of the rivets. The final part of the models was the quiver and just like the flights it was highlighted with Wazdaka Red. The Wazdaka Red highlight really makes the features pop on the quiver's face. Looking back at the finished models I'm happy how it turned out but the more I keep thinking about how these could have somewhat been a long range sniper unit. I could have painted their robes with a camouflage effect to have them hidden more into the background but maybe that's a project for a different day. From next week, from next week on there is only single models left to paint. There's the Merc Knob with the Belcher Banner, Swamp Cala Shaman, Killaboss on foot and then finally the Killaboss on the Great Nash Tooth. But if you guys like this video make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.